हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल बी अवेयर होप यू ऑल आर गुड इन दिस टूडेज इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रोसेस फ्लो शेयर एसेस एंड टीडीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट लिस्ट एट अ हाई लेवल सो वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग लिस्ट एंड विल ट्राई टू पुल एन आइटम फ्रॉम लिस्ट एंड पुश एन आइटम टू अ लिस्ट एंड विल अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द लिस्ट पैरामीटर्स and push and pull from the list parameters so without wasting much time let's begin i have already dragged one of the entities from shared asset and i have again dragged another that is list to two so i'll just delete this list two and we'll have only this list and uh, if i click on this list you could see the activity properties here we are having view entries view back orders and some of the advanced options here in the list so what we are going to do basically is we are going to just create a item list by going into the toolbox and then in the global list we are going to create an item list and we are going to keep the name of it as the same item list 1 and now what we are going to do is by going here we are going to assign this list to the item list that is the global list which we have created so we have assigned that now if you go to the entries we'll able to see the parameters here and then if you go to the back orders we don't have back orders as of accumulated orders and the advanced if you look at these are the fields we have assigned so what uh, what is the duration it has been what is the type of the item that is flow item what is the distance and what is the queue size so these are the labels which automatically get assigned uh to the item which is in the list we also have back order options here unique puller only allow multiple pushes reevaluate short back order these are some of the advanced options based on our requirement but in this today's video we are not requiring this advanced option so we are beginning with the basics so what we are going to do is uh we are going to create a part on to one of the queue from the source we are going to transfer the part to the queue so i'll just make this inter arrival time every 2 second i'm going to have a part at the queue and what i'm going to do i'm going to create event triggered source so we will be creating this by using process flow we can also make use of push to list and pull from list conventionally but as this is our process flow series we will be learning it by using process flow so on enter we are going to assign this item and we are going to make this as assign and what we are going to do is now we are going to push to this list so what i am going to do is i am going to push the item basically or you can say the token to the list and what i am going to do is i am going to assign one of the thinking thing here and then we are going to create another queue here where the parts will be taken from q1 to q2 by using pull from list so we are going to pull from the list the parts and we are going to have those parts under the queue so i am going to use a uh, another source now that is inter arrival source which will be arriving every 10 seconds and what we will be doing is we are going to pull an item from the list so now what we have done is we have created push to list and pull from list here on this process flow now we what we are we are supposed to do is we are going to push the item into the list which is going to come on the q1 and then what we are going to do is we are going to pull the item from the list and move it from q1 to q2 so in the push to list if you look at the properties what we have done is we have a referred a list as list then what is our push value is token dot item not token because we need to push an item to the list not the token then we have assign and label that is token dot pull and then it is sent to the sink we have again created a source here of 10 seconds inter arrival then we have made pull from list so pull from list we have assigned it to the list we are pulling only one as the number so we are only pulling one value at a time we are assigning a label to the pulled value as token dot pulled 
we are not putting any query as of no partition ids and no uh, details or no advanced things as of then what we are going to do is we are going to add another entity that is move object because we need to move the pulled item to q2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this token dot item to token dot pulled and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this destination as q2 and what we will be doing is we will be doing reset and we'll just run and see how it works so if you look at this i'll just go into view entries if you look at this you could see that we have three parts on the q1 we have three parts in the list fourth part has arrived fourth part came here this is the time or duration it has pended on the q1 and this is the q size basically five so you can look at what this list say what this list contains now what if you could look at is the token is arrived at here that is move object here one object is moved from q1 to q2 at the duration now 20th we will have second part 30th we will have third part so this is how our push to list pull to list works we have successfully worked on creating a model where we have created a list from the global list by going to the toolbox we have assigned that list in the process flow then what we have done is we have transferred item to the list using push to list and then what we have done is we have pulled the item using pull from list and we have moved the item from q1 to q2 by using shared assets methodology in the process flow so let us know your views and comments on this simulation if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our channel do share it with your friends and colleagues do like our videos we'll meet in another interesting video till then take care stay healthy stay simulating bye bye